Welcome to Crazy Nines, 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. We're starting a timer. Boom. TNT. Yo, yo, yo. I found out that I think I have a problem. Um, and, and, uh, live your truth, King. And I was wondering if you share the same problem or if you have a different life than I, I do. I don't have ED. I, <laughs> Dude, have you ever heard of aphantasia? Okay, I like words. It is it is the ability, the inability to picture things in your mind with your mind's eye. So like so like when somebody says to you, and I'll, I guess I'll say this to you, like close your eyes and picture a coffee cup on the table. Picture a, then it's like picture a red coffee cup Ooh. with black coffee Ooh. in a blue saucer. Okay. Do you physically see like a photo image of that in I your do. head i do like you can like when you close your eyes you it's like a picture to you yeah like when you started talking about it and you when you changed the color in my head that was cool like you could see it yeah yeah it, it, but you actually see that in your brain like you were looking at a tv <laughs> bro it was great like i could see like it was like a uh like a rustic house dude and it had like curtains and i could see like the see, you table. got it you don't have it i do dude yeah. that's what they said people who don't have a fantasia do is like it's like you tell them that and they'll and they will literally give yeah. you all the other details without you even asking like they're yeah. like oh it was an oak table and there was in a country yeah. kitchen and yeah. see, you know what i see what? black <laughs> coffee no i close my eyes black really? no picture no nothing really i can't like i know what huh. a coffee cup looks like i know what black coffee looks like huh. i know all i know i can and they said aphantasia is less common and I re it's funny because I, I heard the actual word the other day. I remember being in, I think it was like third grade, and I remember the teacher doing an exercise with the class, like, hey, everybody picture like a zebra and do this. It's your and imagination then, time. Right, and she was like, who can't, who can't picture it? And like, I raised my hand, and then the only other kid that raised his hand was, was the troublemaker class clown kid, mm. and then I made me look like an a-hole, but I couldn't see anything in my flipping head. And now mm. I realize I have a problem. And like, yeah, I don't see anything, dude. Nothing. I think you're autistic. <laughs> Maybe, but uh, what 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 they said was it. Um, people who have the thing that I believe I probably have because it's always been like that is um, it's like we can conceptualize it, but we can't visualize it. Huh? Because like, I if somebody says, think of an elephant. Like, I know what an elephant looks like. But I don't see an elephant in my head. I I blinked and I pictured an elephant. And and uh, <laughs> but like as clear as day is like pretty damn clear. So man. like when it's I say to clear. you, okay, here's here was the test they said. Oh, I like this. It this says picture fun. a red star. Okay. Do you see an actual red star, or do you just see like, yes. or do you just see a star or an outline of a star, or or do you see a full blown, full color red star? I saw a big red star, kind of like a Christmas tree star. Oh wow! So you might have what they call hyper aphantasia because because oh, you can see almost in photographic way. Yeah, it's very very close to photographic. And let me ask you this: then. so here, because more this, details you give me the picture. Because I was talking to somebody gets. else, and they're, they 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 have the same thing. I, they can't picture anything. And uh, so, like, when somebody says, like, so, like, your mom, like, you can picture your mom's your face mom. in your head. I'm sorry. You were like, okay. <laughs> so, like, when you think about your mom or your brother, yeah. you can picture their face in your head like it's a photo. Or you I just picture, know what your mom looks like. I picture what I know from references. Um, like, now that I've seen them a lot more, I can definitely picture them in my head. But yes. it isn't so much like you know what they look like. It's like you literally almost see a picture of them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, see, I can see. Yeah. I can okay. See my and it's just so different for me because, like, yeah, my whole life, dude. And that's why if somebody's like, draw an elephant, like, I could draw an elephant. It would look like an elephant, but I couldn't draw a detailed because I couldn't get all the, the really? nuances of the elephant to draw it. That's so, you know, and that is funny because I remember uh, when I was in uh, college, we had a psych class and they asked us to draw uh, a pig from memory. Uh huh. And a lot of people were just like, circle, stick legs, boom. And mine came out looking like a, like a freaking 
fucking diagram from like the butcher's market, dude. Right, dude. It was like I had to write leg contours <laughs> yeah. of a pig and the tail was done properly. It's because you can snout. picture it in your head. I, I, I can. See, and that's cool, dude, because I yeah. I can. I, and they said yeah. that they've done studies and it doesn't have any differentiation about like intelligence or anything like that. It's no. just some people think like, yeah. And they said the one I watched like a little TED talk on it and the girl said it was like, it was like if you say little uh uh whatever little little uh, twinkle twinkle little blank say star like and she's like i think of the word star and no star goes there but i don't see a damn star in my head mm. and like yeah dude it's just interesting that uh that's a uh All different right. way to do it and i totally and didn't time this so we'll just go till I we, honestly, till we're done i honestly did not think that uh it was uncommon to not be able I mean, I guess I just thought that everybody had the ability to see stuff in their head like that. Yeah, and and they said that uh, they didn't really until recently notice because there was a guy who he used to be able to see everything in his head with pictures and he had like a surgery and after the surgery, he could no longer do it. So he knew it was missing. But people, either way, it's, it's like that's what you're like your whole life. So like you just assume that's how you visualize. And for me, it's... It's not. Which so let me ask you this. This is because here, here, here's where it gets into the, like. There's positives and negatives to all of this. So like, so like, say like, so obviously you've had sex with like women before. So like, could you think of a hot woman that you had sex with and literally see like her naked body, like you were having sex with her, like in your mind? Okay, I want to say yes to a certain extent, but like, I don't know, man. It's not like you could like relive it like watching a home video. I, I don't want to boast, man, but it's all a blur to me, oh. right? <laughs> you know, it's all a blur to me, baby. No. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. But. No, I'm just, I'm kidding, 100%, but no, I don't know. I don't know if I could see like their faces. Like, I remember what they look like, and I can like, yeah, I can visualize some of the stuff we've done. Um, Interesting, because I was like, yeah, I know, like, oh, that girl had a nice, has nice boobs, and I'm, but I'm like, I can't, like, picture her like her boobs like in my I've head i've definitely run into people who say that they don't even look at pornography they prefer to just use their imagination oh like they can read it do you because like when you read a story do you visualize what the author is saying and all that so, like if you're reading nah, like lord of the rings not like so much not so much okay we're reading because like but it's have... not even about reading it it's about just using their uh, the visualizations that you do not have uh -huh. just using that to build up um to build up a sequence that gets them to, you know, to yeah. completion. Yeah. Well, see, because, like, when I, like, read a book, like, if I read a book and they describe a character, yeah, I get it, whatever. But then when <laughs> I watch the movie of that book, I'm like, oh, okay, that's what that character looks like. It's like, I, and that's why maybe I don't like reading as much. Uh, because I don't visualize the characters. I don't. Nah. I, you know, and I do find it's harder for me to do it when I'm reading something. I find myself having to go back and read the same thing like yeah. four or five times a lot. Well, and they also said that, you know, just the same as like you could remember a good experience, like, oh, this hot sex I had with this girl one time. But like it, it, it's almost a negative thing to relive bad experiences because you yeah, can picture yeah. the bad experience. Like me, like if something bad happened to me, I know it happened, yeah. but I can't see it in my head happening again. Oh, yeah. Dude, Where some people yeah. can physically see that in their oh. brain happening yeah. over and over again. Dude, I still to this day relive like. In my choir class for like sixth grade, and we were doing a choir concert, and we were doing uh, Earth, Wind, and Fire, sing a song. Okay. And I was supposed to say, um, you just need to smile, 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 and believe, but instead I said, give, give yourself what you need for my part, uh -huh. and I fricked it up, and everybody in the choir knew I fricked it up, dude. And, I was just, <laughs> and you can see that vision happening. I, I, I relive that every day of my life. Every yeah. day. And I, no one in the choir probably even remembers that. No, they don't remember it, but I'll never forget that I let everybody down. <laughs> it's also it's also funny how, completely off topic, how how like it's something to you that's super significant that no one else probably remembers. Yeah, I, I know, it's right. like, because like, you know, I'll remember like, oh, there was this lady I ran into a bar one time, and we talked about this dumb thing for five seconds while she was getting a drink or whatever. That lady don't remember me she don't remember what we talked about for some reason i remember her for whatever reason you know it's like it's, it's the main character syndrome man we're the main characters in our story so of course you know we right. think that yeah <laughs> so lately the thing is you call other people npcs oh, okay is that what it is yeah they are <laughs> oh my god there's a lot of cringe behavior behind this whole ordeal but yeah they're npcs so you just pretend they don't have feelings no i mean if you're a sociopath yeah yeah, yeah right yeah. um but uh 
Yeah, I don't know, Jonas. But yeah, I, I, I'm kind of. I think that there has to be more psychologically that is not being discussed with this because are you missing out on it, or are you actually gaining a tactical advantage by not being able to see these? Thoughts? Right, and I'm sure there's positives and negatives to both. But what they yeah. said is like they don't. It doesn't really affect like. Your, your ability to function as a person. Like, it doesn't make you better or smarter or more yeah, yeah. intellectually sound or whatever. Either yeah, way. Th- th- that they know of. Yeah, exactly. But it's it, it was it was interesting because I was like, and I'm glad that you actually were the opposite because I, I, uh, t- I told one other person, and they were like, right, I can't see anything. They said that people with a- aphantasia, it's only like 2 or 3% of the population. Oh, like, most see. people can visualize okay. pictures in their okay. brain yeah yeah like if i close my eyes and think it is literally black that's it nothing no no image appears in my head at all yeah i mean it's black to me too but i can just like retreat to that little area of my mind where i just make images up dude. yeah it doesn't happen see your mind's eyes healthy dude mine's blind <laughs> i'm disabled in my mind's yeah, eye dude no, it's all right man we just read differently yeah dude it's we read okay things differently yeah dude i just want to be normal Great. Now, now I have something else to hold against myself. No, I'm joking. I, I just, I was just curious, dude. I was curious if you, uh, if you did it. So, I don't know how long this episode's been because the timer didn't start. But you know, hey, dude, you said we start the timer, and I lied. So, but anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas TNT. Uh, we are out.